So how do you approach the remainder of this lengthy road trip knowing that you have your two bye weeks out of the way and the next one won't be for a while? I think uh, we're kind of happy that these bye weeks are out of the way. Um, it's kind of been a bit difficult to, to get a rhythm. And now, um, you know, I think that's what the team needs. We need to now get in a rhythm of playing games and playing with each other and learning off every game. And I think now going to these last three road, uh, road games before we go home, I think will be good for us. And uh, obviously we, we need some results uh, going into the home stretch. So would you say a positive from having these bye weeks early is um, an emphasis maybe on building consistency in a relationship amongst each other? Yeah, yeah, I think it, it was good uh, to have this bye week because then uh, the team had uh, each individual and, and all of us as a team collectively had a chance to look ourselves in the mirror and say, OK, uh, what, is, what is it that we need to do to, to turn this around? And, and, and we know what we're capable of. And, and so we, it's just little things that we have to now in, incorporate to, to our game to, to now start getting results. It's been tough sledding for TFC in Dallas in recent years. What's, what makes it so tough to play there? Is it the heat, the humidity? or? Yeah, I mean, the heat's always, you know, a, a little factor, but it, it's hot for both teams. So um, I guess maybe you could say that their players are used to playing in, in that kind of temperature, and that helps. But um, I think Dallas has always had a strong team. Um, it, it's difficult to go into their stadium and win. I think uh, we are getting them at a good time since uh, of this cool. last weekend's uh, result. So um, I think we got to take advantage of that. and. Um, it, it, when it comes down to it, all, all factors aside, advantages and all that, it doesn't matter. The the best team on that day will win. You're going up against a Canadian national teammate, former teammate of yours, Kyle Becker. Have you guys spoken at all since he moved to Dallas? And what do you make of this little, I guess, revenge match or grudge match? <laughs> um, yeah, we speak. We speak uh, a lot. I mean, he, he's, he's, he wasn't only my teammate here. He was a good friend of mine. So uh, we keep in touch. I, I'm sure I'll see him down there. and. And then, when, but during the game, <laughs> we're on different teams, and that doesn't matter. So, um, I know uh, he, I get, he's happy there, and I know he's excited to, to play against us too. With some of the defensive problems that the team has suffered in the last couple of weeks, injuries and all that, um, what does Greg emphasize this week going up uh, into this Dallas encounter? What do you guys need to do to come away with the result? We just need to now uh, be a bit more aggressive defensively um, as a team. Uh, you know, it's when we talk about you know. Our defensive struggles. It's not, it's not the back four that we're talking about. It's, it's the the whole team collectively. So, um, as a team, there there are times when you know we can um, we can make plays higher up the field, and sometimes we don't, and that puts ourselves in bad positions. So, I think uh, if we start doing those things, you'll you'll see that we'll start playing a lot better. Later today, Benito Flores uh, having a press conference for the next round of World Cup qualifiers for 2018. Um, is it concerning to you that you're not getting regular call-ups to the national team despite being one of the Canadian players in this league who actually gets regular minutes? No, no it's not concerning because we keep in contact a lot. Um, we have a lot of communication. Uh, I think the communication between the coaches and the players has been really good uh, lately in the, in the Canadian Soccer Association. So um, I'm not concerned at all. I think uh, as long as I keep uh, you know, playing and, and getting minutes and, and performing, uh, I'm, I'm confident that I'll definitely be in the mix at least. So, is any of this by design? I mean, have has there been conversations between the club and, and the like the national team in terms of your role? I wouldn't say it's by design. Um, it's not like we purposely said, okay, uh, when when this camp comes, uh, you're gonna stay back. And no, no, it, it's it all happens in the moment and. Um, on the moments leading to and and we've communicated a lot and we kept that communication we've always done what's best for both the, cl the team and for me individually so and I'm sure there's that hunger to put on the national team shirt again uh, how important is it when you do get your call-ups to make the best of those moments and uh, represent your country it's very important I mean it's your honor you're representing your country you know it's, n it's not just you and 18 players it's it's the whole country. It's a it's a country now that's also growing in soccer. So it's it's very important that this generation does well because if this generation doesn't do well, it I mean it could it could hurt the next generation coming up. Um, but if I see, if kids see us doing well and, and 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 then they start getting more hungrier and they start becoming more committed to to football and and that'll only make our program a lot better. And just one last one from me. I mean, uh, 
you say the next generation that we have now the USL pro teams with these young kids coming through. You're one of the role models that these guys look up to in terms of Canadian talents playing first team football at an MLS team. When you look at these USL guys, Manny Aparicio, Jay Chapman, all them, what do you uh, what do you make of them? Are you are you um, you know is is it a, a good sign for the future of this country? Oh yeah, we have we have good young players coming up. We have a lot of good signs and. I, even the USL pro guys are really good, but sometimes I see little kids walking around and I see them practicing here and they're good. They're really good. So um, it, we have talent. We have talent, just as much talent as the rest of the world. It's just the development that needs to now improve, which it is, which is improving. And so uh, I'm sure now in, in the future you'll, you'll start to see that a lot. Awesome. Thank you.